Dubai is building a 380-meter skyscraper, taller than the Shard in London, but with a shocking twist. It's only as wide as a small townhouse. At just 22.5 meters across, this is Maraba Vale, one of the thinnest towers ever built in the region. But Maraba Vale isn't just about height. It's a blend of modern engineering and ancient design principles. Wrapped in a porous stainless steel veil, the tower filters light, reduces heat, and enhances natural ventilation, inspired by traditional Middle Eastern architecture. Each of its 131 residences span the entire width of the building, offering unmatched panoramic views. But building something this tall and thin comes with extreme challenges. So, how do engineers keep it standing strong against wind and gravity? In recent years, ultra-thin skyscrapers have become a global trend. These buildings, often called pencil towers, are defined by their extreme height-to-width ratios. But where did this idea come from? It all started in Hong Kong, where developers faced with limited land availability began constructing narrow residential towers on tiny plots. By the early 2000s, buildings like High Cliff and The Summit with slenderness ratios of 20 to 1, became symbols of vertical urban living. The concept soon spread, and New York City became the next hub of super-thin towers. Billionaires Row, a cluster of luxury high-rises near Central Park, now features some of the tallest and thinnest skyscrapers in the world. The most extreme example is 111 West 57th Street which boasts a record-breaking slenderness ratio of 24 to 1. These towers maximize space efficiency in dense urban areas while offering sweeping, uninterrupted views of the city below. Now, Dubai is joining this architectural revolution with Maraba Vale. Standing at 380 meters with a width of just 22.5 meters, the 73-story skyscraper will be one of the thinnest buildings ever constructed in the region. Each of its 131 luxury residences spans the entire width of the tower, ensuring every unit enjoys panoramic views. But what truly sets this skyscraper apart is its design philosophy. Inspired by traditional Middle Eastern architecture, Maraba Vale blends modern engineering with time-honored techniques to create a tower that is both innovative and deeply connected to its environment but a tower this thin faces immense engineering challenges. One of the biggest concerns with ultra-slender towers is wind resistance. Tall buildings act like giant sails, catching powerful gusts that can make them sway. Without the right engineering, this movement could turn living inside into a dizzying experience, almost like being on a boat in rough waters. In extreme cases, strong winds could even threaten the building's structural integrity. Then, there's the issue of space. With only 22.5 meters in width, architects have to get creative. How do you design a super tall building that's both strong and livable? Every part of the structure, floor thickness, materials, and layout must be carefully planned. The goal? To make sure the tower stays sturdy without feeling cramped inside. That's where high-strength materials come in. Advanced concrete composites and steel makes it possible to build thinner walls without sacrificing durability, making room for larger living spaces. Beyond the structural challenges, the design must also account for Dubai's harsh climate. The intense heat and high humidity levels put additional stress on the materials used in construction. Without proper cooling techniques, the interior would become unbearable for residents. So how do engineers keep a super-thin skyscraper stable? The answer lies in a combination of high-tech solutions and clever design principles. One of the most powerful tools in their arsenal is the Tuned Mass Dampener, TMD, a massive suspended weight positioned near the top of the building. When strong winds push the structure in one direction, the dampener moves in the opposite direction counteracting the sway and keeping the tower stable. Without it, 
Even mild wind forces could make the upper floors feel like a boat on rough waters. This isn't just theory. It's been tested in some of the world's tallest and slimmest skyscrapers. Take Taipei 101 where a colossal 660-ton dampener helps the tower withstand powerful typhoons. New York's super skinny towers and Hong Kong's tallest buildings also rely on this technology. The same principle is likely applied to the Maraba Vale to ensure that even in strong desert winds, the building remains rigid and livable. Another key engineering marvel behind ultra-thin skyscrapers is the use of outrigger systems. But what exactly do they do? These horizontal structural elements act like giant stabilizers, connecting the building's core to its outer columns. Why is this important? Because in extremely slender towers, the central core alone isn't enough to resist powerful winds and seismic forces. Outriggers extend that structural support outward, distributing the load more evenly and improving overall stability. Some of the world's thinnest towers like 111 West 57th Street in New York, rely on outrigger walls and deep shear walls to reinforce their narrow frames. And to ensure these buildings stand strong against wind and earthquakes, high-strength materials like reinforced concrete and composite steel are used throughout. But what makes Maraba Veil vale truly stand out? Its distinctive veil feature isn't just for aesthetics. It's a critical part of the building's structural integrity. This porous stainless steel mesh wraps around the tower like a second skin, acting as a shield against intense wind and harsh sunlight. But staying cool isn't the only challenge. The foundation of an ultra-thin skyscraper is just as crucial. With its slender form, how does Maraba Vale remain stable? Unlike traditional towers that spread their weight over a wide base, slender skyscrapers concentrate their load onto a much smaller footprint. This means the foundation must be exceptionally strong, often requiring deep pilings that anchor the structure to solid bedrock beneath the surface. Some of the world's thinnest towers have foundations extending over 100 feet deep, reinforced with high-strength concrete and steel to ensure stability. In Dubai's case, engineers must also account for the sandy and less stable soil, which requires additional reinforcement to prevent shifting. By combining cutting-edge engineering techniques with traditional architectural principles, Maraba Vale is able to achieve something remarkable. A super-thin skyscraper that not only stands tall, but also remains comfortable, stable, and energy efficient. A true example of how modern innovation can merge with historical wisdom to create next generation urban living. What do you think? Are ultra thin skyscrapers the future of city living? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on notifications for more incredible stories about the world's most ambitious mega projects.